One of the people who killed, brutally killed Ahmad Arbery would like special treatment. Let me give you some background. Let's put up the picture of the killer, one of the killers. His name is Travis Michael. Let's put his picture up, there he is, Mr. Michael. He's one of the individuals who killed Ahmad Arbery. For those of you who may not remember what happened, let me take you back to that tragedy down in South Georgia. Michael and his son Travis, <laughs> who shot Arbery twice with a shotgun <laughs> before the 25 year old collapsed and died. Okay, all right, so you saw that sad, horrific, right? It was a murder. They chased him down and killed him, he was jogging. Now, Travis McMichael, one of those killers, he would like special treatment. One of the men accused of chasing and murdering Ahmad Arbery is fighting to ban certain photo evidence from his upcoming trial. Now get this, Travis McMichael and his attorneys have requested that the court ban a photo of his old Georgia flag theme vanity license plate, which includes a Confederate emblem. Let's show a picture of the truck with the Confederate emblem they would like to suppress. Now this was the vehicle they used to kill Mr. Arbery as he was simply jogging in a white community. They wanna ban this. Let me show you a picture of what this looks like up close. Here it is. They wanna ban that, keep that up there because this is contrary to what they've told us this was. I mean, those who support the Confederate flag and Confederate symbols and emblems, they have always told us this is about heritage, not racism. This is about history, not bigotry. That's what they have told us. So what's the problem? This is your history, right? This is part of your heritage, correct? Why ban it? Because you know good and damn well what it was truly about. And you know that members of the jury would know good and damn well what you are about when they see this emblem also. Prosecutors say Aubrey was merely jogging on in February when the father and son duo Gregory and Travis McMichael armed themselves and chased the young Aubrey in a pickup truck in their neighborhood just outside the port city of Brunswick, about 70 miles south of Savannah. A neighbor joined the chase, William Roddy Bryan, took cell phone video that showed Travis McMichael fatally shooting Aubrey as he threw punches and grabbed for McMichael's shotgun. Aubrey was unarmed when he was killed by three shotgun blast at close range. He actually tried to get away from these guys. Now some people are giving credit to William Roddy Bryan, saying that he's the reason that this case broke wide open and he should be given some credit for taking the video. You do realize he was recording so that those sick SOBs could continue reviewing what they did to this young black male. That's what he was there for. Attorney, what are your thoughts here? Are they going to be able to suppress the fact that he had this emblem on his truck when committing the murder? You know, I have been following this case and it's scheduled to go to trial October 18th. Now, the, sometimes the most important part of a trial is these pre-trial motions because that depends on what evidence goes in. So it's very important this motion and, and we're gonna see some others before the 18th. There, what his defense argues is, is that this is too prejudicial, that this is too inflammatory. You know, it, in the United States, we don't put people on trial for being bad people, and that this is what this evidence shows. But the prosecutors are going to say and have said that this is actually more probative. It is irrelevant information because they are claiming self defense, and the prosecutors are saying, no, he intended to kill him because of his race, and this evidence goes directly to intent. But that's what the judge is gonna weigh, probative versus prejudicial. I think the determining factor will be the fact that this truck was at the crime scene. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it was part of the crime. If it had been parked at home, 
Probably he may not have let this in, but because it was there, I think the judge will allow this in. You know, in my evidence class in law school, I'm remembering probative versus prejudicial and how a judge has a lot of latitude as to what they weigh when making these decisions. I do believe based on that probative versus prejudicial value structure created by a judge basically, that the truck is there on the scene. So no need to ban or block what was on the truck. I think it's a different story attorney if we're talking about going to his home and he has a bunch of Confederate symbols there. Then maybe you're on the other side of that probative versus prejudicial. But this was actually at the scene of the murder.